So if you want more pars, let's check your sequence. Let's make sure you're optimizing your distance off the tee. I see a lot of players, when they strike the ball, they're leading with the club head. So in other words, the club's going out. Okay, and it's really a challenge to maintain your lag when the club's going this way. So your shoulder, everything is going this way. All right, and that's why we get the chicken wing coming through, one of the reasons. So instead, we want to come through here on the target with the elbow leading, okay? And the shaft way back here, that's our lag, elbow leading, all right? And then we extend out, getting that beautiful extension and release, okay? And a great way to check if you're getting it is to turn your club upside down, all right? Put this hand behind your back, make a turn, and then come down leading with your elbow, making sure it's in front of your body. All right, so this shaft should be way back here. All right, so what we're doing is creating angles in the backswing. This is our, these are our angles. Hinge, right? This is no hinge, hinge. This is straight, and this is creating an L in our backswing. This is the top of our backswing right here. This is our power source, one of our major power sources. We've got our legs, we got our rotation, and then we get the release of our angles, all right? This is a massive power source, so we're going to release these. But we got to do it in the right sequence. So if we lead with this or with our head, we're going to get out of sequence. We want this part of the shaft to be last, very, very last. So go into your backswing, lead with your elbow, extend out, okay? And I'm releasing, getting this hand on top. So if you come through and you find that this hand's underneath, you know you didn't release. Right, so there's a rotation. So when you come through leading with the elbow, then I'm gonna rotate my whole arm so that this is facing the sky. If your palm is facing the sky, you didn't do it correctly. All right, so when you come through, make a backswing, shift to your front side, lead with the elbow, get that extension. And the key is you wanna add some speed. All right, swish, leading with your elbow. And if you're struggling with this, let's check a couple things. Check your head. So if your head's going ahead and your whole body's driving this, you're not going to be able to lead with your elbow. What's going to want to happen is the, this part of the shaft is going to want to lead the way. All right? So your head's leading followed by that. Instead, keep your head put. Let everything pass you like this. All right? The other thing to check is your back shoulder. If it goes out, all right, that's going to throw you off sequence, and there's no way you're going to be able to lead with your elbow. So instead, when you get to the top, this back shoulder drops down into your body like this, dropping into the slot, and then we can extend out. Drops down, and then we can extend out. All right, so you get to the back, this drops down just like this. All right, and then we can extend out. This allows you to lead with your elbow like this and get into that beautiful, easy delivery where you can get lots of power. All right, so check your sequence. Using your driver, just turn upside down, and let's get you a lot more distance.